So you can come up to the front of the chair so that your feet are flat and your spine is nice and tall. Either rest your hands in your lap or arms down by your sides. We'll just take a few moments with eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And begin to slow down your breath. Inhaling until you're full. And exhaling until you're empty. Slowing down the breath can bring more oxygen to the system and it's also very soothing for the nervous system. So we might set an intention to keep a slow, deep rhythm with our breath throughout the class. If your mind wanders or you check out, you will probably go back to a more natural pace with your breath. So anytime you notice that the breath has gotten shallow or your mind has wandered, as soon as you notice, come back and slow it down. Feel where you are. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or you can open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. So let's begin with some neck stretches. You can turn your head as far as you're able one way, looking over your shoulder. And then back through center and all the way the other way. You see what kind of range of motion you have right now. Go back the first way as far as you can. And then one more time back the other way. Come back to center. Again, sitting as tall as possible. Now drop one ear over towards your shoulder. Drop both shoulders, but we'll reach a little further through the opposite shoulder. Maybe even reaching fingers towards the floor. Look for a stretch on the side of your neck. And you might Drop or lift your chin, moving the sensation to slightly different parts of your neck, finding what's interesting to you. And then rotate your chin to your chest and come over to the other side. Both shoulders drop, but now even more through the other side. Rotate your chin to your chest, come back to the first side, and then go back and forth. Half circles or three-quarter circles, watching the sensation move from one side over to the other. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head and let your elbows hang, stretching the back of your neck. And then release the arms down, head floats back up and we'll lift the shoulders up and back and down. A few big circles up and back and down. One more. Okay, let's take the right arm up. We're going to bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back. As you do this, drop the ribs, draw the belly in. You might shift or move to explore what's interesting. To release, bring the right arm back up, open it out, take it across, and then hook with the other arm. We're going to hug it in as close as you can, but as you do this, pull back through your right shoulder so you're still even through the torso, 
Still sitting nice and tall. And then release right arm out. Rotate your thumb to point down. Bring it around behind your back. So back of your hand is at your waist. Interlace fingers at your waist. Pull your knuckles around towards the front just as much as you can. Elbows go towards one another as much as you can. And then circle your right shoulder. Just putting a little movement in a place that may be creaky or tight here. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back. Open up the chest. And then fold forward. And this could be just dropping your head or you might fold all the way over your legs, perhaps reaching your arms up and back away from you. And then release, come up. Couple big shoulder circles. One more. Okay, left arm up. Bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back. We all have different bodies. We all have different limits. So I don't expect what you're doing to look like what I'm doing. Not necessarily. So you're just going in a series of directions as best you can, meeting your edge. And because we all have different bodies, it should look differently. And let's release. Left arm up. Open it out. Take it across, hook with the other arm, and hug it in as close as you can. As you do, draw back to your left shoulder. And keep noticing, is there any excess tension in your face, your neck, your shoulders, any place that you tend to clench or tighten up when you're stressed out might come up in your yoga practice. So we can practice feeling intensity, feeling whatever you're feeling, and letting your jaw be at ease, letting your breath be slow and deep. Let's release arm out. Rotate thumb to point down, bring it around behind your back. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, the way you don't normally cross. Knuckles towards the front, elbows towards one another. Circle the left shoulder. So we're purposefully seeking out what may be creaky, tight, awkward, weak. We want to get to that full range here. You may not get to your full range of motion in your day-to-day -day activity. So here's where we keep things mobile, keep things active. Keeping fingers interlaced. Reach both arms back, open up the heart, stay upright or fold any amount. Could be just a slight lean forward, might be folding all the way over your legs. release, come up, couple big circles. Hmm. Okay, let's interlace fingers in front and put some pressure between the palms like you're trying to pull them apart. You might notice this helps open up between the shoulder blades, the upper back. You can kind of wriggle into that space. Finding a stretch that's interesting for you. Imagine the rib cage spreading, little muscles between the ribs stretching. And then really spring arms out to the side and flex your hands. Pull the fingers up and back towards your body as you reach out through the base of the hand. Curl from fingertips down, pull your knuckles in. Flex again, fingers up and back towards you. And then again, knuckles in. Keep reaching out and then circle, flexing and stretching all the little muscles of the forearms, circling wrists both directions. Full range of motion. 
And then release down. Let's take a twist. You can bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee and your right hand somewhere on the chair behind you, wherever you can reach. As you inhale, sit even taller. As you exhale, rotate, looking back. Breath by breath, see if there's a little more height, a little deeper twist. Each inhale, sit taller. Each exhale, a little deeper twist. Now keep going in this direction, but turn your head the opposite way, like you're wringing out your spine. And then release. Switch sides. Right hand across to the outside of the left knee. Left hand somewhere on the chair behind you. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, rotate. Breath by breath. A little more height. A little deeper twist. Keep going in this direction, but turn your head the other way, ringing out. And back around to the front. Let's take a side bend. So we'll bring the right arm up and over, reaching out long, but make sure you don't tip off your right sit bone. Keep that right sit bone really grounded, reaching out, and then start to circle your right arm back behind you as far back as you can. See if we can reach just a little further, last circle. And then same thing, other side. Left arm up and over. Big yawning reach, but staying grounded through both sit bones. And then start to circle, left arm back, behind you, way back. Even bigger, one more circle. And release. Okay, let's take a hip stretch now. We'll bring the right ankle above the left knee. Make sure your left leg is parallel so your knee and foot are in line with your hip pointing straight ahead. Sit tall and then lean forward with a flat back as much as you can. It's okay if your back rounds a little bit, but keep going towards flat and towards folding. You might lean into your hands. Some of you might come lower into your elbows going in the direction of a flat back, in the direction of folding, hopefully feeling a stretch on the right outer hip here. To release, let's sit tall, extend the right arm, uh, right leg out, flex and point your foot a few times. Deep flex, full point, and then a few big ankle circles. Both directions. Okay, same thing other side. Left ankle above the right knee. Sit tall, start to lean forward. If there's not forward to go, be where you're at. Different bodies have different mobility. Find what's yours now. So we're exploring our own edges. It shouldn't look or feel any different than it does for you. While you're at your edge, can you relax your jaw? Can you relax the muscles around your eyes? Can your breath be steady? Let's release, sit up, extend your leg out, flex and point. 
circle. Big circle one way. Big circles the other way. And then release. Let's go ahead and stand behind the chair. If you have space behind your chair, you can go ahead and stand behind it. I'm going to move mine so I have space. You can either bring your hands to the top of the chair or the seat, and we'll take something like downward facing dog. So very similar to down dog, but no pressure on the wrists. A little bit easier on the hamstrings and back. Pull the hips back away from the hands. Flex the sit bones back, opening up the backs of the legs. And then we'll come back up to standing. Let's take a quad stretch here. So we're going to bend the right leg back, grab hold of the right foot with either just one hand, and you can use the other hand on the chair or out to study, or if you like, you can use two hands. If this does not work for your body, you could take a different balance, just bringing your right foot off the floor somewhere like tree pose. If you're doing the quad stretch, try to open up the crease in the front of the hip. So rather than the hips tipping back, the tailbone is dropping, the belly is lifting, and we're bringing a stretch into the front here. If you want to make this a balance, you can always take your hand off the chair, and then it's there if you need it. Shake that out. Same thing other side. So left leg comes back, or if you took a different variation on the first side, go ahead and do the same thing. You can always keep your hand on the chair, or both hands could be at the foot, or you could have your arm out. Standing tall. Can you feel the supporting leg nice and long, top of the head lifting up away from it? Tailbone dropping, belly lifting. And then release, shake that out. Okay, with feet hip width apart, parallel, we're going to slowly lift the heels and then lower them back down. Try and do so nice and slow so it's not jerky. If you want to challenge your balance, you can do this with hands off the chair or barely touching the chair, and it's there if you need it. If you want even more of a challenge, alternate feet. So lifting one foot all the way off the floor as you lift and lower on the other foot, and then switching nice and slow. Let's take two more, either on both feet or one more on each side. And release back to center. Okay, we're going to do some hamstring curls. So this is for strengthening the hamstrings. We're going to lift one leg up and down. As you do this, don't let your knee come forward of the other knee, but imagine there's a bar connecting the two knees. So let's lift the right heel up towards the bum and down five times. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more. Up and down. Same thing other side. Trying to keep knees in line with one another. Left leg up and down nice and slow. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Last one. And release. Let's stretch the hamstrings back out. So down dog, hands at the top or bottom of the chair. Pull the hips back. 
couple breaths here. And then we'll come back up and go ahead and sit back down on your chair. This time all the way at the back. So you can lean back, a little bit more restful, feeling the weight of your torso resting back, the weight of your legs resting down. You can find a comfortable position for your arms, either by your sides or in your lap. And we're just gonna take a little scan through the body, releasing any unnecessary effort. Then you can take a moment feeling the top of your head and just imagining relaxation spreading from your head down through your face, your neck, Letting go of any effort with your facial muscles, jaw releasing, eyes closed and relaxed. Shoulders just dropping, letting go. Feel the weight of the arms dropping. hands resting on one another or your lap. Feel your legs letting go, resting into the support underneath you. even just for a few moments, feeling the ease of nothing to do. For right now, there's nothing to accomplish, no problems to solve. Nothing to plan. Just simply being. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, deepen your breath again. Move your wrists and ankles. And take a big stretch out through your arms, like a yawn through the upper body. Mm. 
You can scoot forward on your chair again, sitting tall. Bring your hands together at your heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today for chair yoga.